In the second Aliyah, we learn about Sichon and Og, and a Kaddish Baruch who taught, told Bnei Yisrael, through Moshe Rabbeinu, of course, that just like you destroyed these two giants, Sichon and Og, both of them being extremely powerful, not just physically, but possibly even spiritually as well, Moshe Rabbeinu was afraid of Og in Parshish Chukas, and Hashem had to tell him Altiroso because he was a Shamish of Avram Avinu, he served Avram Avinu. Says a Kaddish Baruch Hu, even if there's good things by the nations, the seven nations that you're about to go into, Kasher also le Sichon, the Og, Ula Og, Melacha Amori, just like you did to Sichon and Og, even with all their Schuyos, your Schuyos were greater. My promise to you is greater. The Avos, the Schus of the Avos is even greater. Just like I did to them, so too I will destroy all of those nations no matter what happens to them. And then it says, Chizku the Imtsu, Altir without hearts of These words, be strong and be courageous, which repeat themselves three times over in Yoshu and even later on in the Parsha, is to remind Moshe Rabbeinu that one has to be strong and courageous. The way the Malbim seems to say it, it's strong in what you're passionate about and believe in what you're saying. Have that Amunah and be talking on what you're doing as well as be courageous. Have Imotz Halev, something in the heart where your heart is there for it. You're ready to do it and you have it not just on the outside but on the inside as well. You're inside and outside ready to do something for HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Whenever we serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the proper fashion, the wording is Chazak V'yamat and that's one of the reasons why we say the words chazak, chazak, venis chazek at the end of a siyam. The assumption is that such a person is already imo tzalev. He's sitting there by laning and waiting for the Torah to be finished. So that's for sure. But use that strength. Use that power that you have in your gashmias, in your physical ways, in everything you do in this world so that you know that it's not just about the imo tzalev, not just about your heart doing it, but you follow through in your actions as well. After all, even though the Torah starts off with a bays and it ends with the Lamed, so that it stands for lave, that it's all about the heart. Of course, if a person doesn't do anything with his Maisim and just acts what he thinks is great and then doesn't do anything different, obviously that's not the right thing to do. One should always follow through and do what he has in everything he does, and thus he'll be chizku ve'amtsu. And then a Baruch Hu promises, lo yarpecha ve'lo yazveka. He will not weaken his hand, his hold over you, nor will he forsake you in any Thing that you do. Okay, that is the end of the second Aliyah.